you know, there's this weird thing where people tell you to put your legs up after you've had sex, and they were like, <laughs> and put Can we have a huge round butt? of applause for Sonam's honesty, guys? Come on, get those hooters I out was just now. Like, I was like, is that, she's like, this is the urban myth. <laughs> That you don't need to put your pillow under your butt. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Yeah. So, um, Sonam, uh, during pregnancy, we go through, you know, different hormone change. And we have a lot of different food cravings. So, I want to ask you, what were your food cravings like? And how did you come to all of them? I just wanted roti with ghee on it, like what I used to have when I was young, like when maybe the ghee made me put on weight, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I remember that, you know, when I used to go to school or when I was younger, when we used to have a khana, it used to be like just chapati with ghee and then all the vegetables used to come like on a plate. And I was just like, I just want that. My craving was for just ghar ka khana. Like, you know, like wow. roti, like chapati with like ghee and like, it was very like tindora and like gobi alu and like it was really like I, I don't know how to explain it. It was very like ghar ka khana. I wanted like maki dal and like turi wow. and all of this stuff. Like it was not fancy at all. I didn't want like caviar or anything. I just wanted like ghar ka khana. Mine was totally weird. I used to have pickles with peanut butter and my husband was That's so he weird. was shocked. He that was is, saying that sounds <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sonam. Thank you, Mansi. Thank you. Can we have a question from Yuvika Abrol? Yes. Hi, Sonam. Hi. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, Mansi. Hi. Sonam, uh, with pregnancy come in a lot of hormonal changes and a lot of people also uh, realize this as they've been through this. My question is similar to what Saru asked. Um, what, were, what was the weirdest pregnancy advice that you got or you know the craziest or the funniest pregnancy advice that you got and from what age group you know as Indians we have crazy ideas Aisa khalo to bachcha waisa hoga, wo piyo to taller, shorter, fairer, darker so what was the weirdest advice that you thought um, doesn't work but you know you have to go through it you have to listen to that person because of course they're concerned you know honestly um you get a lot of, you have very high progesterone, like everybody knows when you get pregnant and you get a lot of pigmentation. Like I had a lot of pigmentation. I had um, pigmentation everywhere. And weirdly, even though I have, I'm Indian, I don't, I never had that issue where I had like dark patches and it was the first time I got it. So I used to get like really weird advice from a lot of people on the creams that I sh should use and I should do this and I should do that. And you need to be so careful even with what you apply on your body. Like you need to be so, so careful. And fortunately, um, I, I signed up with this brand that obviously I can't name here. And I met the lady who had um, started the brand and she kind of helped me understand the kind of skincare that I needed to do during uh, my pregnancy.